Hey, welcome back everyone. Starting today, a free film festival going on in Flint and we're talking all about it because it's talking about a lot of global issues, bringing attention to them and it's happening in a lot of area colleges as well. So it's free uh, and accessible to a lot of people across the area. Joining me this morning is Michael Kelly. He, of course, is the spokesman. And Michael, welcome to our show. Thank you, Janet. Well, I saw this, uh, well, actually it was a press release, came in my email, and I was just, well, I read it, and I wanted you to come on the show and talk to us about it, because uh, I'm very passionate about global issues, and mm -hmm. I think uh, movies, uh, actually film, just as a wonder to uh, show these to people. Well, you know, we, we are leaving an era of print, and we are entering the digital era. And right now, probably the most effective way to communicate a complicated idea is with a film. And what we've been doing, uh, my community college and Kettering University have for years been working on bringing these films into our community and showing them for free. And this year's festival, or this season's festival, because we do it twice a year, is starting tonight. Okay, and we're showing just some pictures. You can see there a bunch of water bottles. That is one of the issues that the film festival is uh, uh, countering. But also we're talking about gasoline and just a lot of global issues that not only our country is facing, but a lot of international problems as well. So um, where can people check these out? Okay, well, the first thing is it starts tonight, mm -hmm. uh, 5.30, the first of, of the films are shown. There's a, a, a film shown every night until Saturday, and then there are two shown on Saturday, one in the afternoon, one in the evening. Oh, so you have afternoon shows. That's good, because you know my bedtime's around 7 p.m. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I think we do um, the 5.30 tonight, Okay. and then the, the last one is 3 o'clock on Saturday. Um, they deal with a lot of environmental issues. Uh, some social issues. The, tonight's uh, one is called The World According to Monsanto. Monsanto is, of course, a big chemical company. Mm -hmm. we, we know about that in mid-Michigan. And it, it discusses the fact that chemicals have entered the entire ecosystem. I, I'm sure a lot of people know about the floating uh, mound of plastic in the middle of the Pacific yeah. Ocean and, and things like that. And, and what this attempts to discuss is how pervasive this is that it's literally it's in our dna it's in our bodies it's all through the ecosystem well i don't want you to give away the movie but it sounds very intriguing yeah. so uh, we're going to talk about a few more of the films coming up in our next hour so we'll be right back with that this time we're talking about global issues with these films so joining me this morning is michael kelly he's our spokesperson welcome to our show thank you janet well last time we had talked about one of the movies specifically about the one uh is you talked about the one airing today, right? Right, The World According to Monsanto. Okay, so what is playing later this week? Well, we have uh, basically two themes. There's environmental. There's several mm -hmm. films about environmental, uh, addicted to plastic, fuel. Those are both very, very good films. Fuel, particularly, very entertaining film. Uh, but the, there's also some foreign um, uh, political uh, films. There's one about the Tibetan uh, struggle for independence. The other is about the Velvet Revolution in uh, Czechoslovakia in 1989, where you had a, literally a nonviolent revolution mm -hmm. that overthrew a communist government that had been in place since World and War II. And there's some pictures from the film, as you can see, and that, yeah, that, that one is... Tibetan. That one's fuel. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, why do you think this is important to have a free film festival, and who are you hoping to that will come to this? Well, obviously, because it's uh, an alliance of colleges and universities that do this, uh, we're interested in our students. But besides that, the community, of course, it's open, it's free. Uh, the films this week will be over at Kettering University. Mm -hmm. In the spring, they're over at Mott College. But, but this week, it's over at Kettering at their academic building. And again, it's free. And you can go to the website uh, of either university. Uh, the Mott website's www.mcc.edu. But just put in Mott College or, okay. or Kettering University, and, and you'll get the whole listings and times and everything. But I think it's important for us to deal with issues in a more substantive way. We are in a political environment where we're, what we get is about a 30 second soundbite. We get little talking points. We don't really get an analysis of an issue. Issues are very complicated. You yeah. think it'll be easy. That's especially it isn't. true in this business yeah, as yeah. well. <laughs> well, thank you. You're preaching to the choir here. Okay. Well, I really appreciate you coming on the show, and I hope a lot of people come out to this. After all, it's free. It's free. So, no excuses there. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Janet. All right.